Some residents of Equere local government area and river state have identified employment, power supply, and quality education as some of their basic needs. Their demands come on the sidelines of preparations by the Council for the implementation of the 2022 budget. Correspondent Uche Okuro reports. Just like the federal and state governments, every year, local government chairmen stand before their legislative assemblies to talk about their budget proposals. For 2022, the chairman of Equerry Local Government Area, Samuel Wanosike, presented a budget estimate of 4.7 billion naira. He tags it a budget of hope because, according to him, the funds will empower the council to embark on new projects that would improve the well-being of the people. Job creation, agriculture, skill acquisition and youth development would be given priority. We have a lot of new projects that will be flagged off. For instance, um, we want to build a befitting copper lodge. We also want to build a befitting canteen and restaurant for the workers. We also want to provide accommodation for our staffs because we believe that a settled mind is a productive mind. A significant part of the budget is to be funded through internally generated revenue and partnership with the private sector. God has helped us that we have achieved high level drop in the insecurity in our local government. So the investors are now having more confidence, developers are now having more confidence that if they come to develop their properties, they won't be the harassed, they won't be harassed by parts or non-state actors, they won't be kidnapped, there won't be excessive charges by non-state actors. Many rural communities in River State are predominantly farmers and low-income earners. Those residents in Equerry land score the council high on performance, but they are optimistic that the new and ongoing projects would further improve the quality of life. Nigeria is not a, a small country. Uh, they're supposed to have a uh, real people they can employ many people. The electricity here is very hard. We can stay here more than one week or two, there's no light here. After two days, they bring light, they come and cut the light off. So we need the, uh, uh, support from the government. 2.8 billion naira was allocated for recurrent expenditure, while 1.8 billion naira is expected to be channeled for capital expenditure. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Isiopo.